savior not the doctor but the realist no time for the pictures i'm on the two just building and i grew up on the block with the killers we was thugging it out trying to down a few rocks yeah creeping like back in the 80s I never shot a 380, I'm trying to kill him, little baby. I was 11 when I got my first Glock. And I'm an Indian chief, yeah. And I'm pretty real proud of it. Except the Christ, he live inside of me. Even though I changed my life, I'm still just riding. Still riding around with the Glock. Call me black or African. Guarantee, little baby, if I come through your lane. You know I'm punching you out. Vega Bond in my city. They used to love me like big, yeah. But if I die, they call me Pac Chief and Seven Disney's the realest. If I smell smoke, I'm fanning it out. <laughs> That's the only point I can get. I can't keep going. <laughs> Look. Me and my bestie just vibing. We in the charger just riding. Just feel the consciousness inside me. And if I'm not around, you know I miss her. I be fanning it out. She keep me calm when I'm angry. You know what she should say, man. If she wasn't rocking with me, I'd be right back with them stones, big right on the block. I'm not green like the Hulk, yeah. Try me, I'm right at your throat, yeah. I'm indigenous, I ain't came across on the seas on the boat, and I'm. Another one, damn, buy me a new gun. I got another drum. I made another nigga run. Hop with another bomb. Boom, it go kaboom when I be a with the sun. I got Jody and Mari, they're my sons. Screaming, Daddy is sorry. You know I'm on my way and I'm about to come. You know I'm on my way and I got about three guns one in the trunk and one in my lap. One sitting right beside me, you know that it's strapped. And I be freestyling, I be like wild and no out, got the dope in the drought, got the goals in my mouth, not no more, stomp down on them, stomp down on them, yeah, you know what I'm saying, but I can't cuss and stuff, so yeah, I do be crazy, alright, yeah, I'm going up, a little freestyle for yeah. So, I'm painting the picture right now of how this day and era is the same exact day and era of Noble Drew Ali. And how you can't shoot the messenger. That's the main topic. You cannot shoot the messenger. When shooting down the information, don't shoot down the messenger. Yes, we have to, as a community, we must shoot down this term called more. Okay, okay. Thank you for dropping that playlist. Check out that playlist, y'all. Check out them playlists. Make sure y'all add my playlist to y'all channel and make sure y'all create playlists of y'all own. Appreciate it, money love. Now, look. 1913 AD. Noble Drew Ali started the Moorish Science Temple of America, or it was called the Moorish, I mean, the Holy Canaanite Temple. Either or, but we're going to stick to the script. 1913 CE, which is Christian era, Noble Drew Ali started the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, or the Moorish Holy, I mean the Moorish Science Temple of America, or the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, either or, whichever one was incorporated, he started that. Now the term, now Noble Drew Ali, let's, let's just see. Right now, this is a hundred years later, we're just now trying to question this term more. 
100 years later. We're questioning a legacy. We're not questioning the legacy of Noble Drew Ali. That should not be questioned. We're questioning this term. We are at a point after a century has passed. We are at a point in time where we are saying, is there a better term for us? So we shouldn't slander. We shouldn't um, throw the dude to the mud because he gave us a term that empowered us. That started all the great revolutions of this time. You get what I'm saying? Without Noble Drew Ali, there is no Black Panthers. Without Noble Drew Ali, there is no Cripple Blood. Without Noble Drew Ali, there is no Gangster Disciple, no Vice Lord. Without Noble Drew Ali, there is no Hebrew Israelite. There is no Kemetic Science. There is no More Science Temple of America. There is no Nation of Islam without Noble Drew Ali. Do y'all understand that? There is none of these things. Without him coming and doing what he did, there is none of these things. Look it up, and that's facts. That's facts. All right, check me out, though. I'm not defending anybody. Y'all know I'm unbiased. I'm unbiased, except when it comes to our ancestors. We're not going to disrespect our ancestors. Not over here this way. And nobody else is going to do it in their lane, because then they're going to bring me into their lane, and they don't want me over there. You know what I'm saying? Nobody don't want me in their lane, and I don't mind swerving. I slam right now. I'm a deep diver, big speaker. Anyway, uh, check me out, though, y'all. I'm done playing. I'm done playing. We about to get it in real fast before I lose some viewers, y'all. We're going to get it in. My bad. Because it's a serious topic. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just cheerful. I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a good mood. Now, yeah, peep this. Noble Drew Ali, right? What he did. Okay, I was bringing up about the Moorish Holy Quran. Let's look at the literature he brought. The literature he brought. At the front of that book. Remember, y'all, I'm paraphrasing. I don't have Google or Wikipedia. I can go get my other phone, but I don't feel like doing that because it's not needed. I'm a master storyteller, historian. So in the front, remember, it's a 64-page book. There's 48 chapters in that book. And inside of that book, you flip open the page, and right there it says, these are the missing 18 years of Jesus Christ. Why did he say that? Why did he put Jesus in his literature? I'm going to tell you exactly why. It's just like this day and age. We're making a comparison. We're making a real his historical comparison from 2020 to 1913 AD. We're trying to see why did he call us more? Why did he do that? And at the same time, see, like, why are we doing the same exact thing? Not with the term or we're doing it with the term Indian. We're doing it with the term We're doing it with the term Indian. Yeah, look, that's a great comparison. We're gonna compare Indian on this side, we're gonna compare more on this side, we're gonna compare 2020 on this side, we're gonna compare 1913 CE Christian era right here. That's what we're gonna do, y'all. And we're gonna show you how you don't have to shoot the messenger to shoot down the, the term. Just like someone in a hundred years is gonna shoot down our term. But they ain't not going to shoot down Dan Calloway. They're not going to shoot down um, indigenous realists. They're not going to shoot down the autogenous one. They're going to shoot down that term and redefine themselves. Because that's what the most important thing is about self-definition and redefining oneself. You get what I'm saying? That's what it's about. When we choose to not call ourselves black, white, negro, colored, Asiatic, uh, uh, Uncle Tom, when we choose not to call ourselves these things, that's the beauty of it. When we choose not to call, when we, when we choose not to call ourselves these things, that's redefinition, the most powerful thing in the planet Earth. Read the, read the 48 Laws of Power. I know a lot of y'all have came across that book, but that's in there. It talks about redefining oneself, and that's powerful. That's powerful, and that's what we're doing right now as a culture, as a people, as a nation, as a tribe, as a individual tribes, as individual wilds. We are redefining ourselves, and you got to do it on the individual level too, on a personal level. You know what I'm and that's where you get indigenous realists from. That's where you get Chief Sabian indigenous from. That's where you get indigenous to Christ from. That's where you get Sabian, the last avatar, from. Overstand? It's about self redefinition, defining self. Y'all know that's this type of stuff I build on. Check me out. Now, looking at the Morris literature, we see it's a 64-page book. We see it has 48 chapters, and we see that the last four chapters are the only chapters that are actually can be 
said that were written by Noble Drew Ali. And in them, it's very good. Y'all should read the last four chapters. All the rest of it, it don't matter if you read or not. I like the beginning. I like the beginning chapters also. I like the first 20 chapters, which came out of um, Levi Dowling's book. You know what I'm saying? I got that book as a PDF. So Levi Dowling's book was a good book, Aquarian Gospel. You get what I'm saying? So that was a very good book. It talks about the creation of man and the seven spirits, the seven uh, creative forces and creative fate and things of that nature and how the one breathes out the seven and then use them seven to create the seven ether planes. That's what we got to realize. Like he was dropping jewels that he was casting jewels among swine. He was casting jewels among swine way back then. Okay, look, look, I'm finna go back in, y'all. Just give me one second. I'm finna go back in. I'm not even gathering my thoughts or nothing. I'm just hitting my cigar and enjoying this beautiful day and enjoying this energy. I feel nothing but positive energy coming from you all. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just enjoying y'all company right now, but I'm finna go straight in. And I'm in the understanding we're gonna receive from this is gonna be brilliant and beautiful. All right, check me out. I'm going to walk around and talk. I feel like walking and talking. I don't feel like sitting down because I'm adamant about this stuff. And then I want y'all to make sure y'all know that I'm not using any kind of sources or anything. I'm just, this is coming straight from my mouth, straight from my brain. All right, y'all, I'm adjusting my selfie stick. If y'all don't know, I'm using a selfie stick, y'all, to step my game up. Okay, the chat is not muted. And we're walking, y'all. I don't have to close one door. Ain't nobody going to break in. All right, now check me out. My bad if the stream if the stream starts messing up, I will go back and sit down. I will sit my Negro stuff down. But in the meantime, we're going to be walking and building. All right, so check me out. Now, in the beginning of the more science, uh, in the more Holy Quran, he says, these are the missing 18 years of Jesus Christ. I don't know if he says our Lord and Savior. I don't know, so I'm not going to add to it. But you, you just check it out. You can look at it on the internet and see what he says. But um, he actually says, these are the missing years of, hey, Jaguar, salute. I'm going to get you a wrench as soon as possible. I'm not on the YouTube app. But uh, next time y'all come in and stream, the next stream I do, I'm going to do it on the YouTube app so I can get y'all y'all wrenches. Uh, but I'm going to get everybody. Stuff, you know what I'm saying? The wrench actually means that, you know what I'm saying, you're building with us. But check me out. So, why did he use the missing years of Jesus Christ? If you look at Nobjurali, he not only used Christianity, one, he used Islam, two, he the one that brought Islam to these shores of North America. So he used Islam, that's two different religions. Inside of that book, he spoke on Hinduism, he spoke on um, Brahmanism, he spoke on all of these different things. Hey, Grandma. Uh, he spoke on all these different things. Washington adept. He said, I'm an Egyptian adept. He said, I am a, a sheik. He said, I am uh, all these different things. Why did he use these different titles? What was the point of him using these different titles, y'all? It's because he, people at that time, we were lost. We didn't know ourselves. We had no knowledge of self. Know thyself. He brought that term. Look at, I'm just going to point out some things. This is what, right now, Jaguar, you just tuning in. Um, Everybody just, okay, rocking with you. Okay, okay, rocking out all 2020. Yeah, yeah, we rocking out all 2020. Now, I'm not on here propagating more. Y'all know I'm not a more. I don't believe any mores exist. Power. Now, check me out. What I want to say is this. At that day and era, we had no knowledge of self. We were deaf. We were dumb. We were blind. We didn't know where we came from, so we couldn't know where we were going. He brought the term more as a redefinition of self. He wanted to teach the people that we didn't have to use the term. Okay, my signal is breaking up, so I am going to go back and sit down. But um, he wanted to teach the people that we didn't have to use the terms, the marks, the brands, that society had put us put upon us 
he was teaching us how to break away from social and political constructs even while bringing up his own social and political constructs. That's what I want us to get. What are you doing? Stuff. What stuff? Oh, okay. You get what I'm saying? He had to bring a social and political construct to break us away from one. Just like right now, we are bringing our own social and political construct, which is Indian. We're bringing back the word Indian. Look, I'm finna, I'm finna sit. I'm finna sit back down. I love being in professor mode, y'all. You know, when I was homeless, they was calling me professor. By the way, y'all. So my audio is breaking up. It's cool. Y'all can still hear me, right? Let me know. The first time y'all can't hear me on something, y'all just let me know. Sheena Miles, peace, sis. I'm going to make sure you get your wrench. I'm not on the YouTube app. Check, tap back in. Make sure your notifications are on all. The next time we go live, I will make sure you get your wrench. We wrenching stuff up in here. We all big speakers. We all going to bring this knowledge yourself. Now, check me out. That means when I say you're going to get your wrench, I'm going to make you a moderator in my channel. But right now, I'm not on the YouTube app. I'm streaming from another app. Now... I got to repaint the picture for y'all that's been inside the stream. There's new people coming in the stream. That's why I'm reiterating the things I've already said. But y'all know how I teach. Y'all know, know my methods. So y'all just rock with me. But everybody has to be in the same setting for this beautiful story that we're painting. And the, the where we're at right now, y'all, for the new people that's just coming in the stream, we're not in 2020 right now. We took it way back. We're inside 1913 AD. We're inside the mind of Professor Drew, a.k.a. Noble Drew Ali, a.k.a. the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. I'm not a member of the More Science Temple of America. I don't never have been or anything, but I'm a student of Noble Drew Ali, y'all, and I'm not a more. You know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous. It's Chief Sabi indigenous. Higher, higher, higher power back in the booth. You know what I'm saying? So check me out. Now... Y'all see, I got my little professor chair outside too, right? You know what I'm saying? It was, it was like everything, everything happened for a reason. Now, check me out though, for real, for real. Let's get back serious. Let's get back real serious. Now, um, 1913 AD. 1913 AD, we have soapbox teaching method. Now, I compared, we're making a comparison between 2020 in 1913 AD. Right now in 2020, I'm on my soapbox. Just because I'm not standing on an actual soapbox and proclaiming out in the streets doesn't mean I'm not on my soapbox. You get what I'm saying? We're on the... Appreciate it. Appreciate it, money love. Let me know my audio good. Thank you so much, love. Um, the soapbox teaching method, what they would do, they would go to a very public place in a very high traffic street, y'all. This is all master teachers of that day and era, from Noble Dry Lead to uh, uh, Marcus Garvey to all the rest of them, Father Time to anybody, even the Caucasians. Like, this is what we got to realize. The Mormons, the these people, everybody used to go to a very public place in, in very public cities. Chicago was the, like, the culture zone back then. Atlanta was the culture zone back then. So they... We're in these type places, Jersey, Chicago, New York, Atlanta. Um, there wasn't no cultural awakening, no consciousness going on out here in Texas at that time. You get what I'm saying? Okay, okay, American Indian by blood. Peace, baby. What's good? So check this out. So the soapbox teaching method, they would get a box, an empty crate, and set that box down. A black man was good. Well, it's great. I am back and I'm better than ever. I'm in rarer form. I'm in rare form, brother. Like, for real, for real. Stay tuned. Make sure you got your notification bells on all because I didn't drop 50 videos. I dropped 50 videos between December and January, and I'm just now seeing my brothers back in the chat. I'm just seeing you. I'm just seeing um, Louis Beast Bilderberg. I'm just seeing Jack. I'm just seeing... Um, in a long time but y'all back now it's great to have y'all in here you now tuned in to chief sabi indigenous higher 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 power back in the booth and we ain't leaving out the booth no more so check me out um anyway make sure y'all check out the playlist i got playlists i got the playlist of my 2020 bills which are the live streams i got the playlist of my music which is conscious rap you know what i'm saying conscious what i like to call it just conscious music i don't like to call it rap because you know what i'm saying i'm not a rapper but um 
And also, I got my playlist of my podcast. I got a podcast on Spreaker. I got a podcast on Spreaker app and Anchor app. So anyway, check me out. Check me out. Oh, yeah, and my gang stalking playlist. Check out my gang stalking playlist because it's something that we all experience and a lot of us are unaware of it. All right. Right now. So my bad. I'm rocking, y'all, because I'm really not in 2020, but I'm seeing my brothers and sisters come in and I have to greet them. But right now, we're way back in 1913 AD, and we're painting a picture of soapbox teachers where they used to stand on top of a crate and say, Attention, you Negroes, you colors, you African Americans. We are not what they say we are. We are this, we are that. And they talk, oh, this isn't your religion. This is this is what they talk. The same thing we're doing right now on YouTube. We're getting on top of a social platform. So, to be a here, and we're declaring truth as we see, as we see it. Do you get what I'm saying? So we're soapbox teachers. Just rock with me. This is the soapbox culture. You know what I'm saying? As far as the teaching method, we didn't invent it. We didn't invent it. Yeah, YouTube came. It's new. Social media is new, but we didn't invent this stuff. For real, for real. We didn't invent it. All right. Check me out. This is soapbox culture. So anyway, um, he defined us as more. When you look at the term more, you get a bunch of stuff about ships that pop up. As far as like mooring a ship, dropping your anchor. You get um, a moor, which is bayou. Bayou. A bayou is basically like a... Uh, what do I want to see? Picture some woods, a wooded area, right? But picture instead of dirt being there, it's nothing but water, and you can sink in there and die. Like it, when you see, when you hear like slavery talk and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You got niggas. You, I mean, excuse me. You got um, escapees or whatever you call it. But y'all know slavery didn't exist in the form they say it did. But you know what I'm saying? We're gonna use just use the terms because we're building so. We're going to break down some stuff, but everything can be broken down in one video. So, um, in one stream, I mean, pardon self. So, um, the bayou is basically like a swamp. Oh, it's a swamp. The bayou or more is a swamp area, like a heavy wooded area, but you can't run through it because it's water and your ass will sink and die, quicksand and that type stuff. Alligators and that type stuff. It's the southern, like, you get it more in Louisiana. We don't really got it out here in Texas. I don't know if any other place got it, but you got bayous in Mississippi and Louisiana. Like, real bayous, like alligators and crocodiles and stuff. Anyway, so that's the definitions you get. More, as in with a ship. Then you get more, as in a bayou. As in a swamp or a bayou. Sorry, y'all. If you see me lifting up my hand like this, it's because the screen is very light. I'm not on the YouTube app, so I'm trying to see how many viewers we have in here. I'm just checking. Just checking. It doesn't matter. As long as there's two or more, we building. As long as there's two or more, you can build. You can hold just two or more. All right. So the first definition or term you get for more would be... Um, the first definition or term you'll get for more would be something to do with ships as far as like setting anchor dropping anchor then you would get a bayou or or a swamp or something like that of that nature then then the definition would say a member or i'm no longer homeless y'all i'm you know what i'm saying i'm tiny home living you know what i'm saying i'm living on the land and stuff like that you know what i'm saying i'm it's beautiful y'all but anyway um I don't know if y'all can see my background, but it's beautiful where I'm at. I don't know about y'all. I'm not in the city limits. You know what I'm saying? I'm just living out here in the beautiful, in our land, in America. This is America. That don't got you tripping up. The third definition you would get is one of the people who invaded Spain in 7-11 or the 8th century. The 8th century is 7-11 AD, right? Now... Here comes a person. First, you got a thing. You got a thing which was mooring a ship. You got a place which was the bayou or, or the swamp. That was the place. Now you got a person. 
So we see that it is a noun. So the word more is a noun. The word more is a noun. All right. But it's kind of cool. It's a nice little breeze coming and stuff. It feels good. I really was just chasing that sun, trying to get some sunlight, getting my energy back. Hey, be on the lookout for my... I know everybody drops topics about the hair being antennas, but y'all know I... All right, all right. Okay, okay, cool, cool. We back building. Let me see. Okay, I got a good signal right here. Cool. I'm out the wind again. Cool. Got my coveralls on. Cool. All right. So we went to 7-Eleven. Let's fast forward back to 1913 AD. Why would Noble Drew Ali bring that term out of any other term he could have used for our people? Why would he say... You are Moors. Why didn't he say, you know, they were already using the term Negro back then. They were already saying color. They weren't using the term black. So let's keep it all in, in perspective. They weren't using the term black yet. Oh, yeah, they yeah they were. Yeah, they were. They were using blacky and black black folk and stuff. So, yeah, they were using the term black. Excuse me, pardon self. But I want to keep it all in context. So they already was using black for us. Am I offline or online, y'all? Somebody come in, in the chat. If you can still see me, come in, in the chat. Let me scoop my chair up some more. Catch some better signal. I would just use my tripod. Let me know. Let me let me know, cause I don't want to be um talking. Okay, Fanny Mill uh Millianus. Okay, okay, I'll make sure you get a wrench, too. Everybody's going to get a wrench. This is my tripod I bought, y'all. Like, every once in a while, I get to treat myself. Okay, we see and hear you. Okay, good. This is my tripod, y'all. I just got this yesterday, and I got this selfie stick yesterday. This is what my... Listen, these other content creators, they're ahead of me in technology. They're ahead of me. They got computers and all, all, all that type stuff. I don't have none of that. Millionness. Okay, okay, millionness. Okay. So I got a little tripod. I got a little cheap tripod. I have a phone, a new device, which I'm very thankful of. I bought that myself also. I bought a tripod. And I got a um, selfie stick. I don't have a laptop. I don't have any of that. So when you see me not creating content, and when I say content, I mean these slideshow videos that everybody likes to put up, which I see is nonsense. When you can get me live and question me about anything and everything right here. You know what I'm saying? It's live. Like... There's nobody else that you can do that to. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody else on the internet that you can question about anything live. Y'all can ask me stuff right now while I'm building. Like, I, it won't be a distraction. For those that's new to my stream, it, it's never going to be a distraction, y'all. Y'all can question me about anything and everything. But anything, I want to show y'all this um, tripod I got. This thing is really cool. Literally. I can make it sit anywhere. Y'all see how it's wrapped? Let me turn my my stick. Y'all see that? Like I can I can set up the camera right here. Like it's cool. Like it's a really cool tripod. You know what I'm saying? I I don't have to sit it down on the ground. It wraps around things. It's a GoPro tripod, but it works for my cell phone. I'm not endorsing this tripod or anything. They don't pay me to endorse it. Yeah, if the frames drop, y'all don't worry about it. Don't leave the stream. If the frames drop, don't leave the stream. We still here. All right, now. Um. Anyway, enough about the stupid tripod. No, I'm playing. I'm just happy, y'all, because I don't have funds and stuff. So I'm I'm happy when I can buy stuff for my channel. You know what I'm saying to help help my channel. You get what I'm saying? Cause I don't have any. You know what I'm saying? Supporters and stuff. But I get people to support my content by coming to my streams, and I love y'all, and I appreciate that. You get what I'm saying? But I'm saying like I'm just letting y'all know that in the background I am trying to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get the channel back jumping how it was. But y'all know I did that all off of iPhone 7. But we back now. I took a year break. We back. Went through the most hell that I did in my life. So anyway, this is my tripod. So sometimes I'm going to be streaming on my tripod. Right now I'm on my selfie stick. Anyway, that's just a break. I just took a little break, y'all. I'm going to go back in. I've been building for an uh, hour and 21 minutes, y'all. So y'all bear with me. For those that's rocking with me, y'all know we've been dropping jewels up in here.
check me out. So we went to 7-Eleven. First we went to this dictionary. We seen inside the dictionary. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. Moderators, make sure y'all telling them to hit that like button. Make sure y'all telling them to hit that like button while you're in here. I mean, when they come in, when y'all see new people pop in, uh, make sure you tell them to hit that like button for me. Y'all, my bad. But um, check me out. What am I going to say? Okay, we looked inside the dictionary. We seen the three de definitions of the term or word more. We didn't look it visually, but you know, the dictionary is right here. So we seen the, the swamp. We seen the ships. And now we see the people. So we know that these people inside the dictionary invaded Spain. So that's a specific people. That's a specific people we're talking about from a specific geo, geological, geological location. That's a specific people of a certain culture, a certain background, a certain people. Not all people. Everybody, the whole, everybody that was brown didn't say, hey, let's go get Spain. Little bitty Spain, this big. Everybody didn't do that. We're talking about specific people. Now we're fast forwarding from 7-Eleven. Now that we identified the people through use of the American Dictionary. Oxford, by the way, I, I use Oxford Dictionaries. When I do have a dictionary, I love Oxford, y'all. Oxford, to me, is the best dictionary. I don't know. Some people use Webster's, and I use Oxford. For real, for real. But um, check me out. And I like the older the dictionary, the better. The older the law books, the better. The older any book, the better. The first editions and stuff like that. So anyway, we went from the dictionary. That's using our compass. We identified the three types of more. We see that one of them are people. We identified their ge geological location, their geographical. My bad, I don't know what the hell I was trying to say. Geographical location. And we, we see that they're in a certain little area. Now, also in the dictionary, I must state this before somebody get on here and say, no, brother, you missed the whole concept. I know they mentioned Mauritania. I also know that the Mauritania that they mentioned isn't the same Mauritania of this day and era. People don't know that. They sleep on that fact. The Mauritania they speak on in the dictionary no longer exists. That is Algeria, Tunisia, and Morocco. Look it up. Now, it's something. Like, we finna go in, y'all. Just, just rock with me. Rock with me. We finna go in. Money love. If you can, text mama and let her know that I'm on live. I can't answer the phone. Do that for me. I can't answer the phone while I'm on live. And it's cool. I'm going to shower once I get to your house. I was just trying to shower earlier this morning, but I'm going to do it over there. I done already put on my, some old coveralls, and I'm thugging today right now. We on streaming live. My bad, y'all, for the personal encouragement. But check this out. So also in the dictionary, my bad, it, 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 it defines a place also. It says Mauritania. That Mauritania is not the Mauritania that's on the map right now. That Mauritania was ran by Romans. Check me out. Check me out. Just look it up. Look it up, y'all. Like, I don't. It was ran by the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? That was North West Africa. That was Northwest Africa. That Mauritania does not exist anymore. There's a Mar Mauritania that's lower, more Western Africa now. But the Mauritania that the dictionary is talking about, it's talking about Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco. Just facts. Look it up. So anyway, now, oh yeah, y'all, y'all like I'm really with it. I'm really with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I really got it. It's already here. I don't gotta go to Google, Wikipedia, and all that. You know, you now tune in with T Savvy and Disney. Hi, hey, yeah, hi, hey, hi, hey, power back in the booth. But check me out, for real, for real. Check me out. Check me out. Now, we gotta know. Okay, we talked about the person, the place, the thing. Now, why? Now let's fast forward it back to 1913. Why would Timothy Drew, Timothy Drew, my bad, when I told y'all his birthday, um, it's been a long time, it's been a long time, so my bad, it's in a one-on-one though, um, the Houthi indigenous God, the word more and more means the high priest of a new, the newest quintus God, which means mine got more and more and more, et cetera, came from America, that's cool, brother. That's cool. That's not where we at with the lesson. Make sure you had a notification bell on all, because I'm gonna do a build on that, y'all. And I brung forth that. Check out my look. Matter of fact, 
I don't know how to pronounce that name. I don't I don't deal with other languages. I speak English, me myself, in Spanish. But um indigenous God, I'm gonna call you that. D Huti. If that's cool, if that's a good pronunciation. De Huti, Indigenous God. Check out my Christopher Columbus video. Check out my Christopher Columbus video and you'll you'll know I'm on the same page with you right there. But that's not where we at in this bill. This bill right here is for a different matter. But you can stay tuned, but just check out my Christopher Columbus video and look at the date on it and see that I was already there. Where you at? I was already there. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm still there and I'm still gonna kick many flavors. I'm talking about they're gonna drip so much flavor on them jewels. I'm gonna drop about that topic right there that you just said. But at the same time, that's not where we're at in this bill. Right now, we're just trying to clear up the confusion in that, my brother. I feel you, my bad. No, 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 you perfectly fine. I'm going to get you a wrench, too. Make sure you got your notification bells on all. I'm not on the YouTube app. I'm streaming from, uh, cool, cool. See, you see what I'm saying? Like, you brought it from that topic. Now, my brother defending his people, you know what I'm saying? He's the, my brother Clifford Clark is a strong American brother. So, and I don't want y'all, you get you know what I'm saying, arguing in the chat. Y'all good? Y'all good. Don't even worry about it. Y'all don't even build past that. We're right now, we're in 1913. We didn't bring it from, we didn't went from 1913 to 2020 to 1913 to 2020 from 1913 to 7-11. Then we're back in 1913. So y'all just rock with me. But the brother made a good point. Just y'all, if y'all haven't seen the Christopher Columbus video, check it out and just know that everything's coming in existence. I'm here to make a unity through this. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm here to form a unity out of this dissension because it shouldn't be a dissension when either way Noble Drew Ali was kicking that indigenous flavor way back then. You get what I'm saying? So just rock with me. And I'm show and prove that. I'm show and prove how Noble Drew Ali was pushing that indigenous culture way back then. So y'all just rock with me, y'all. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. You ain't a more. Like, I don't consider myself a more. I don't consider it. But we're not going to get on that topic, y'all. We, we good. We good in the chat, y'all. Everybody good. Just check out my other content, y'all. Like, I'm a, I'm a historian on the matter, y'all. So I'm never gonna say anything incorrect about it. You know what I'm saying? But um, check me out. Anyway, I love you all. Peace, y'all. Y'all can do. Matter of fact, yeah, I, I ain't never gonna call myself more either. But look, y'all can. Matter of fact, I, I don't got no business saying y'all can't do it in the chat, man. Y'all go at it in the chat if y'all want to cuss each other out and everything. Nobody's gonna get blocked. The chat is open. We got an open build up in here. So if y'all get a side conversation on, it's cool. I'm not even reading the chat no more, y'all. Just make sure, hey, I'm going to cut it on every now and then to see if any new people come in here. But I got the chat off because, you know, I'll get inside the topic, too. But that's y'all topic. Cliff Clark, uh, Indigenous Guy, y'all go at it inside the chat. But just rock with me, y'all, and just know that everything comes in full circle. You get what I'm saying? But right now, we're trying to figure out what made Noble Drew Ali Okay, I, I, we're back from 7-Eleven. Boom. We know that Mauritania, Mauritania is not the place Mauritania on the map right now. Mauritania was an empire of the Romans. It was part of the Roman Empire. Look it up. I just cut the damn chat off. Isn't a d Uh, I am indigenous, realist, the realist. Uh, I am indigenous, realist, the realist, the realist, the realist. Uh, I am indigenous, realist, the realist, the realist, the realist. Uh. I am indigenous. Go, go. 50 on me. Not stacks talking about caliber. Ha! I'm the realest. I do this shit without a fucking manager. Whoa. These nigga feds. They got white boys over them. They handle it. Cops. Straight scammers. Leeching out the community like scavengers. Kill em. I am indigenous. Raised by the tribe, not villagers. I have no time for the villagers. Still stay straight like diligent. Bang. You don't hear it, but you feel it, bro. I kill a beat like a scrimmage. I gang tea like a damage. Blue you too like a blemish. Can't let a dude stop my mission. You to gang bang, kind of crib. Now I bring out a full of children. Bang real hard for humanity of living. Many through phones, they be glitching. Key favorite code sports is image. Damn. Got a passion for knowledge, plus I'm glifted. Raised up high on my square, I'm uplifted. <laughs> Y'all ain't even hear me say glifted, right? <laughs> like, like Hyrule glifted. Like, like glifted. Like, you know, I put like lifted with glyph. Y'all get that shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous realist to motherfucking realist and I'm gone. Shout out to Louis B. Spielderberg. I hope I did him justice.